Seven reasons people dislike you for no reason. Why do people choose to dislike a person for no reason? I mean, what on earth can be responsible for that? Well, we have the same question on our minds. James Redfield, an American author, lecturer, and screenwriter, his explanation for why people dislike people is because they feel threatened by that person. According to him, when we dislike someone or feel threatened by someone, the natural tendency is to focus on something we dislike about the person, something that irritates us. Unfortunately, when we do this, instead of seeing the deeper beauty of the person and giving them energy, we take away and do them harm. All they know is that they suddenly feel less beautiful and less confident, and it is because we snapped their energy. So, the question now is, if people dislike us for no reason, because they feel threatened by us, what makes them feel threatened in the first place? In this video, we will be sharing with you 7 reasons people dislike you for no reason. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you would miss other interesting videos like this. 1. You remind them of their failures. Imagine if you once had a problem of overeating, excessive drinking, toxic relationships and the likes. Eventually, you choose to become responsible for yourself and everything that happens to you. As a result, you grew strong enough to overcome the challenge and the problem you once had, say, obesity, in this case. People might dislike you for it. You're wondering why, right? Look at it this way. You both were in the same shoes originally and then you were able to overcome that challenge, leaving them to deal endlessly with theirs. Because they have tried severally and failed, they realize how difficult it can be. So seeing you every time or just thinking about you constantly reminds them of their failure. They result in disliking you instead of learning from you. 2. You have reason above them. Let's say you used to be on the same level with someone and then you moved higher. Say you got promoted or you pushed yourself hard enough to achieve a course. Now because the people you left behind start feeling left out and trapped at their level of experience, they may begin to dislike you for it. They want you to remain at the same level because it is difficult to accept your new improvement. However, remember Zig Ziglar's saying that don't be distracted by criticism. Remember, the only taste of success some people have is when they take a bite out of you. 3. They have nothing better to do with their lives. Besides surfing the internet, flipping through their social media fields from one app to another, doing nothing but stalking people on social media and dropping hateful comments on blogs and YouTube videos, they do not have anything else to spend their time on. Doing these things give them that momentary sense of purpose and achievement in life. For instance, when you come across certain comments on a person's YouTube page, you'll be shocked at how people leave hateful comments for someone they don't even know. I once saw a person's comment on YouTube saying, when a person asks for a thumb up on their video, I give them a thumbs down instead. Now, imagine such a statement. Perhaps they don't even dislike you because it is you, but because hating people has become a lifestyle for them. All you can do is to wish them the best in life and move on to a good place in your life instead of wondering and disturbing yourself about why they dislike you. 4. You have something that they don't have. When some people realize that life can be unfair and some people may have certain things while others won't, they become jealous of those people that have the nice things in life. And if you are one of those, they'll dislike you for no reason. Maybe they even want the things you have and don't quite know how they can achieve those things. They'll begin to dislike you for it. In some other case, when they can't figure out why they lack the things they lack or how they can get the things they lack, it makes them angry and to help them cope with frustration, they resort to hate because they think the only way they can deal with their feelings of inferiority, low self-worth and inadequacies is to dislike you for having something that they want but don't know how to get. 5. You remind them of themselves. One of the best defense mechanisms the mind uses to help people deny their flaws is to blame someone else for them, so they project their flaws on you to make them look flawless. 6. They think you don't deserve goodness. You know, some people look at the things you have, say your career, your family and friends, your fame and the likes, and think that you don't deserve those good things. Most times they see things only from the surface level. They don't care about your hard work, sacrifices and the struggles you go through to achieve the things you now have. They don't even care about how you dealt with your fears and worries as well. All they care about is that 
Why do you have those good things when they don't even have them? 7. They need to put someone down to feel good about themselves. Some people's self esteem is so low that they feel the need to put others down so that they can either shield them or feel good about the fact that they are not alone. Ridiculous, I know. As surprising as some of these reasons might sound, they are true. So the next time you can't seem to understand why a person dislikes you, you should probably watch this video again to find out why. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We'd like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. But before then, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Look at your screen now to see two other videos we handpicked for you to enjoy next. We love you.